Hey there, I want to show you some cool features in the FL Studio channel rack that you may not know about but can speed up your workflow by at least 100%. If you're new, hit the subscribe button down below and let's get started. So the first feature is using groups. Now this can help you organize your channel rack to make it look easier to navigate. Now for example, I have my drums and my chords right here. So let's say for example, I want to sort out my melodies, right? For example, I have this chord and this counter melody. So I could just highlight these two then press option G on Mac or alternate and G on Windows. And then I could just create it melodies. And then instantly I have a group and then I can come back to all. And if I want for drums, I could highlight again by just holding shift and left clicking each of these boxes right here. Then I could just press same thing again, option G or alternate G and just name it drums. Now, why this is important is that it can help you focus on particular sounds that you want to work on, maybe on just your drums or just percussions or just a certain melody. So I can easily navigate between different parts while I'm still creating my ideas on the channel rack. And if I want to view all, just come to all and you can see all of them. The next cool feature is arranging the sounds in your channel rack by numbers. That is how they are linked to the mixer. Right now you can see mine is looking pretty disorganized. One, three, four, nine, eight. You know, this can be confusing, surely if you already have them linked to the mixer. So to sort this out where it's numerical, it's very easy. Just click this drop down right here and then come to sort by, and then you can either do by color, by name, or track number. So let's do track number. And you can see I have my unlinked tracks at the top, which again can help you know which tracks are unlinked to your mixer. And then you have the linked tracks at the bottom right here. So you can see that one, two, three, four, five, all in numerical order. Another cool feature on the channel rack is that you can actually transpose multiple sounds at once. It could be virtual instruments or drum elements. So let me use the virtual instrument for example. This is how it sounds. So I could transpose this easily by just highlighting each one and then come to this drop down right here. Then come to transpose selected and then I could just type in how I want to go. If I want to go higher, I just type the number, maybe three or four. And if I want to go lower, just type minus and then it could be three or four or five, whatever semitones you're trying to go to. So let's go higher. So I'm going to go about three semitones up and then this how it sounds. And if I want to go lower, click transpose selected, then maybe type minus six this time. And then let's hear it sounds. Another cool feature you have on the channel rack is color gradients. And this can help you sort out your tracks and make it look more pleasing. So I'm going to come right here after selecting your tracks. Again, select your track, just hold shift and click each one. Okay, and then come to this drop down right here. Then come to then come to color selected and go to either gradients, random or all. So let's go to gradients and you can just pick a color scheme. So let's say I want this color. And then just simply click accept and you can see it's going to create a gradient and if you want to change it it's too easy just again go back color gradient then pick a different color you can see again it makes it look organized for you to easily navigate your sessions now if you're using fl25 you can easily mute tracks on the channel rack without coming to the regular mute session for example when this is playing i could mute it here or mute it here. You can see it's also muting it on that side. And this is helpful because it saves you a little bit of time when you're trying to mute tracks. So let's say for example, this is playing. I could just simply mute this or mute whatever tracks I want. Again, if you're using FL25, you can actually get a song starter template from FL Studio by just simply clicking on this icon right here. And it's going to open up this window, then choose a genre. So let's say I want Ama Piano. So it's going to pick Ama Piano and then we can hear this pattern. And if you don't like the drums, you could just click this um, icon right here. And if you don't like the melodies, I could just come right here. And if you like what you're hearing, just simply click this button right here to send to your playlist. And you can have them right here. You can start working on them. Reduce the volume. And you can add your chords, melodies. You know, this is a perfect song starter template. Surely if you're 
stuck with ideas in FL Studio. So the last but not the least feature is setting the swing for individual notes. Now, most people, when they're trying to swing notes on FL Studio, they are used to swinging, like using the master swing. Now, that sounds cool, but sometimes you may want to swing just individual percussions or melodies or notes. So all you have to do is just choose whatever you want to swing. Let's have you want to swing maybe a couple of notes, and then just click the drop down. Then come to set swing mix for selected, then choose the percentage you want from the presets, or you can type in a custom swing number. So let's say I want... Um, 40%, you can swing that. And you can also do that while it's playing. So that can help give you a slightly different swing and unique drum rhythm. If you're interested in learning from beginner to advanced levels of making Afro beats on my piano type beats, all you have to do is click the link in the description to sign up. It's 100% online with project files and resources to help you. Now it's beginner friendly. I'm also going to go into advanced topics from melodies, drums, arrangement, and even balancing your beat so that it sounds professional and good on almost any sound system you play it on. Now the courses are currently affordable. So if you want to sign up, click the link in the description and I do promise you a free lifetime update on this course so long as it stays up. So whenever there's an update in any of these genres, you don't have to pay for any other new course from us. You simply just get the updates in your student's portal. So again, if you're interested, click the link in the description to sign up.